What's up guys, Ben here, and as promised, I am back with a bit of a closer look overview of the Gigabyte uh, Z97X Gaming 5 um, G1 Gaming motherboard. As you can see, it has a very nice design overall. Uh, the only thing looking at it that I really am not a big fan of is the two gray RAM dim slots. They're not big. I personally would have rather to keep them black or maybe even red to go with the overall theme of the board, but that's just me. As you can see, the three heat sinks have quite a nice um, red aluminum look to them. Real nice, real shiny. The video probably does not do it any justice at all. Uh, so just keep that in mind. We of course have our CPU socket here in the middle with our guard to make sure none of the pins get bent during transit or anything. And one of the things I like here is the actual um, CPU retention bracket as you can see here is quite a nice, I don't know, what is it? I want to say iodized metal or something, but it's the quite nice black metal is nice and shiny and I think it looks real nice on the motherboard as I've just said one too many times. Uh, just below that you of course know notice our M2 slot which of course is for uh, the M2 um, SSDs and whatnot so we can get up to 10 gigabytes a second transfer speed which is real nice. I personally I don't have one yet I will be looking to get one in the near future especially as I am going to be doing a few more Z97 boards as well so stay tuned for that one uh, of course as far as branding goes on the board there's not a whole lot of it I don't know you probably can't see it all due to the angle of the camera but right here we have our Gigabyte GA Z97X Gaming 5 we of course have our FCC logo AMD Crossfire logo NVIDIA SLI logo lets us know that we've got a killer E2200 NIC on board um, designed in tape Taipei and I mean it's got the UEFI dual BIOS SATA Express so there's not a whole lot of branding going on on the actual board itself which is quite nice uh, we'll of course notice our three PCI Express X16 slots uh, for Crossfire, NVIDIA SLI and all that fun stuff so we're making sure that we're getting the most uh, out of our gaming graphics cards. We also have three PCI Express X1 slots, sound cards, RAID cards, um, whatever extra USB ports you can hook into those is quite nice. Uh, looking around we have a few uh, four pin fan headers we've got one right here there's another one here another one right here and then there's two more here at the top so I seem to be pretty well spaced out which is quite nice to see um, we of course have our 8 pin power socket to connect the CPU to go ahead connect the power supply up to go ahead and power everything make sure we're getting that and then of course down at the bottom here uh, we have our normal lineup of characters of ports that you would um, that you're used to seeing of course have our S audio our SPDIF as I mentioned the two system fan headers uh, COM A TPM the front side USBs as well as our front panel connectors and a clear CMOS jumper. Moving around to the side of the board, I know it's probably, I have to actually move it a little bit now so you can see it properly. Uh, we of course have two of our normal SATA slots and then we have our SATA Express connector which you'll notice on the bottom for the SATA Express SSD but also it does give us four individual SATA ports for things like SATA 3 and whatnot. So if you don't have a SATA Express hard drive, you can still make use of the ports to connect your 
uh, hard drives and SSDs to it. Then of course we also have our front USB 3.0 header which is nice and it's nice to see that becoming more of a norm these days. Well I know it has been for a while but uh, me personally I'm just getting into some of the newer stuff especially as far as Intel is concerned. We also have our 24 power socket to go ahead and power up the board as well. Moving on to the other side we of course have our amp up audio which is nice. I've seen a lot of companies are trying to do a lot of different things with their audio and while it may be hard to notice there is a noise guard is what they call it and it's supposed to have a trace light in it so off the top of my head I've not seen it I'm guessing that that hopefully it may light up a little bit because it says right on the box tra trace path lighting so that'll be I'll be looking forward to seeing that and seeing how that all does of course we have on the back we have all of our connectors um, we of course have our old school mouse and keyboard connectors that while I know people like the PS2 connectors I just wish they would go ahead and just get rid of them let's uniform everything to um, USB and call it a day we also of course have our VGA slash D sub our DVI and HDMI outputs to go ahead and make sure we can hook this up to as many monitors TVs as possible we of course have four USB 3.0 slots as well as four USB 2.0 slots so that gives us plenty enough room we should be able to connect almost anything we need via USB right to the back of the board we of course have our killer E2200 NIC port and then one of the things that's a bit different here is our audio, our 7.1 is our gold covered, gold plated audio jacks which is supposed to help give it a bit better sound but it is a bit unique because looking at it uh, there's no real indication of which one is which. Now I apologize for putting it so high up on the video as you can see well, hopefully you can see there's no real way to tell what's what in there so that'll also be another interesting feature to go ahead and look at overall the board is quite nice and it comes with all the features or at least most of the features you would expect to see from a Z97 board of its class uh, I look forward to getting this into my computer actually in a few moments here and doing it, um, testing it out, doing a bit more review on it, running some benches, and see just what it can do with my 4770K. Uh, that is it for this closer look. Please like and subscribe. Uh, leave some comments. Try to leave some feedback. Let me know how I did. I know not all my videos are the best, so please, criticism, criticism is welcome as long as it's not just straight trolling. Uh, Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content in the near future.